It's been a longer wait than anyone would like, but finally, the Fast Saga is back. Following a number of delays, F9 is scheduled to hit theaters on June 25, 2021, and Universal is starting to ramp up the hype by releasing a brand new trailer. There's a lot happening in the new F9 trailer, including several treats for longtime fans of the series. Here are a few that you may have missed. The new F9 trailer begins with a few scenes of domestic harmony, including a brief clip of Dom, played by Vin Diesel, watching a video of his best friend Brian O'Connor, played by the late Paul Walker, and a scene of Michelle Rodriguez's Letty playing with Dom's son Brian. If you pause the video on that last one, you'll notice Letty and Brian are playing with a tank, a car, and a space shuttle. The car looks a lot like Dom's beloved Dodge Charger, while the tank is a callback to a memorable scene from Fast and Furious 6. That space shuttle, though, is even more interesting. As the new trailer's final seconds reveal, F9 has finally taken the franchise into space, something that fans have wanted for years. As little Brian makes the toy car fly through the air, it lands on the back of Letty's shuttle, mirroring the trailer's last scene. Speaking of Dom's family, John Cena may be a newcomer to the Fast and Furious franchise, but his character Jacob is no stranger to Dom. Jacob is Dom's brother. Just to drive the point home, check out Jacob's costume. In his first scene in the new trailer, Jacob wears a silver cross necklace that looks exactly the same as the one Dom wears throughout the series. In the fourth movie, Dom gives the necklace to Letty and later finds it at the scene of her seemingly fatal car crash. Then, in Fast and Furious 6, Dom uses the necklace to remind Letty of who she used to be. It's also implanted with a tracking device in the Fate of the Furious so that Dom can keep tabs on his son. For Dom, the necklace is a potent symbol, so it's a big deal that Jacob wears one too. After all, despite their differences, Jacob and Dom are family, and as we all know, that's what the Fast Saga is all about. According to the Fast Saga, there's nothing Nas can't do. In the first Fast and Furious movie, Brian O'Connor uses Nas, short for nitrous oxide, to up his speed during his first race against Dom Toretto. It doesn't quite work, but Nas has been a franchise staple ever since. While Nas's primary purpose is to give vehicles a quick speed boost, it's had a few other uses in the series as well. In Too Fast, Too Furious, Nas powers the ejector seats in Brian and Roman's cars. In Fast and Furious, a Nas-fueled explosion blows up a number of vehicles, creating a distraction that Dom uses to secure his freedom. In Fast Five, Dom hits the Nas button in order to drag the vault the crew is stealing, which lets the other drivers get away. Now, it looks like Nas will send the Fast crew to the stars. In the new F9 trailer's final scene, there's a canister of Nas complete with its distinctive logo sitting between Tez and Roman. Presumably, that's what fuels their rocket-bound car and gives them the push they need to escape the atmosphere. Scientifically speaking, that's probably not all that accurate, but we'll let it slide. Lastly, while the Fast and Furious series' fast-paced action scenes would be exciting even in complete silence, its music takes everything to the next level. Unsurprisingly, the F9 trailer sports some pretty great tunes, too. At the beginning of the trailer, while the extended Toretto clan assembles, you can hear the Chainsmokers family playing in the background. If you know anything about the Fast Saga, you know why that's appropriate. The entire song is an ode to the type of found family that gives these movies their heart. It's hard to imagine a better choice. Salute me, familia. Salute. Salute. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the Fast and the Furious franchise are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.